Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Paul Playfer, and this is just a little talk about pet first aid. We're going to go over a couple of things today specifically for your own safety. and We're going to define what first aid is. Um, this is a commercial pet first aid kit. We have some of the things laid out on the table. We're going to talk about those kind of one by one and why they're there. Um, there's a lot of these on the internet. Some have good things, some are worthless. Um, so we're going to talk about what's in it, some things that we might suggest that you add. Uh, most important thing I think we need to do is define what first aid is. This is not a home veterinary kit. This isn't how to be a veterinarian at home. Um, that cost me $90,000 in eight years, so I don't think you're going to be able to get that in a bag. So if we have a serious problem, or even a minor problem, you want to get the pet into the office as so quickly as you can, us or whoever your veterinarian is if, if you're not one of our clients. That's an important thing to distinct to distinction to make because what you're going to do with this kit at home has helped keep the pet comfortable, help control any kind of bleeding, help to keep the pet safe until they can be transported here for proper and, uh, and full type type of care. So, so anyway, that's first aid. Second thing we need to talk about is your safety. Um, I've, if I've heard it once, I've heard it 4,000 times standing in front of this table when I'm cautioning clients of I'm about to give an animal an injection and they're putting their face up to their pet's nose. And they say to me, oh, don't worry, doctor, he'll never bite me, he loves me. And that's true, I'm sure that your pet loves you, cat or dog. But when afraid, anxious, painful, um, animals are still animals and they'll act as such. And if you don't keep yourself safe, you may get injured as well. Now you have a second thing that needs first aid. So the most important thing for this here is whatever you're doing, keep yourself safe. Remember that they have claws and teeth for a reason, it's to defend themselves, and they'll do it as much as they love you if they feel threatened or you make them painful. So there's some of the things that this first aid is going to be safe methods for you to handle the pet and keep yourself safe. Those things include muzzles, leashes, potentially blankets, a uh, board perhaps to make a stretcher out of. You need to keep yourself safe from those parts that hurt. Okay. So, number one, this is first aid. This is not practicing medicine, and number two, your safety is as important as the safety of the pet, so you need to be careful before we start any kind of treatment. Okay? Good deal.